The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 18 budget series episode. Guys, today the position that we're going to be taking a look at is halfback. And uh, this one was suggested by somebody in the comment section of my previous video, the quarterback video. So be sure to go check that one out. Gave you three budget quarterbacks that are going to be good to start your team in Madden 18. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you drop a like on them. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll be bringing you guys a full series at every position. So let's get into it guys first set of halfbacks we have here on the right side of your screen This is kind of the more expensive player. The left side is the cheaper player. We'd like to do a little comparison here We're not necessarily saying that the guy on the left is better than the guy on the right But it just gives you an idea kind of reference point wise of if you were gonna spend more for an elite running back Or one of the better guys in the game right now what you would be getting in comparison to spending substantially less on a lower overall player so again on the left, Tariq Cohen going for about 1,500 coins. Lamar Miller on the right, an 85 overall going for 40,000 coins. Now, Tariq Cohen is 70 overall. This is a very low rating overall, but what he has is three attributes that we really look for out of a speed-based running back. We have 87 speed, 87 acceleration, and 90 agility. All three of those right now in this game are elite. They're among the best of any player at the position in the entire game. And actually, all three of them are higher than Lamar Miller, which is kind of interesting. Again, Lamar Miller relatively known as being a speed back but in this case he is one lower in both speed and acceleration and two lower in agility than Tariq Cohen of course he does blow him away in a couple of things like trucking stiff arm elusiveness uh, he has a substantially better carry rating and a substantially better catch rating as well so again you're not necessarily going to want to say that Tariq Cohen is better overall but I look at him as kind of being similar to like a Dree Archer from last year or the year before and uh, he's basically going to be a guy who is completely speed based he's not an elite running back overall but he does the job for getting outside and getting down the field so that's why I like him the second grouping of halfbacks that we have here are our power backs Spencer Ware on the left side of your screen actually is an elite 82 overall but he's only going for about 9,000 coins and we're gonna compare him on the right to Jay Ajayi now first of all I do want to point out a couple of things here Spencer Ware is not better in anything other than trucking and he's the same in acceleration other than that he's lower in pretty much everything but what I will say is that for this the price difference he's not substantially lower in most of the attributes if you really look at it like his agility is four lower his speed is two lower spin move one lower his carrying is two lower catching is four lower like those things are typically not going to be the difference between him making a play and not making a play to be honest with you and I do like the fact that his trucking is an 82 whereas Jay Ajayi's is only a 77 so that's why I really like Spencer Ware as kind of being more of like a grinded out up the middle type of a running back so if you compare him if you add like him for example in comparison or in addition to excuse me Tariq Cohen you're spending about 10,000 coins on your running backs and you can kind of mix and match them depending on the type of play that you're running if you're running up the middle go ahead and put Spencer Ware in if you're running to the outside Tariq Cohen might be a better option and that way when you're playing your solo challenges you can also keep them fresh which is a good option as well and you can do that without spending a ton of coins now the last grouping that we have here are the guys that I consider to be my receiving backs. So these guys are pass catchers. Obviously Devonta Freeman, one of the better pass catching backs in the league since he came into the NFL. And right now he's going for about 80,000 coins. He's one of the more expensive running backs in the game right now at 87 overall. And we're going to compare him to Ty Montgomery who does go for about 10,000 coins right now. So pretty cheap, but he's an 81 overall. I really like the fact that Ty Montgomery has some really nice attributes in things like speed at an 84 which doesn't sound that high but right now in Madden 84 speed is actually pretty good for a running back he also has 88 acceleration which is an elite attribute for the position so very very nice there also the main thing that we're looking for here his catch rating 75 that is quite good for a running back of course he used to be a wide receiver so we can understand why that would be better than it is on a lot of other players he does also have a pretty decent agility rating at an 83 but other than that most of his other attributes are not particularly 
particularly amazing. He's a guy, though, like I said, on like a third and long type of a situation. If you want to have him out there going out for a pass or if you're going to use him on like a four verts and have him go out of the backfield, that's not a bad option. I think Ty Montgomery would be a pretty darn good player to have as a role player, as a running back on your team. So there you have it, guys. Those are the three running backs that we're looking at today. Again, Tariq Cohen, Ty Montgomery, and uh, then you've got in the middle Spencer Ware as your power back. So three pretty, pretty good guys. If you if you bought all of them, it's going to cost you 20,000 coins. And I like that stable of running backs better than pretty much any one running back in the game right now, to be honest with you. Maybe other than like the Marshall Falk or you know somebody like that that's super ridiculously expensive. And all those guys, by the way, as well, the, the more expensive ones, I I would expect are probably going to go up like your Devonta Freemans and your JHIEs and those guys as the game actually drops on the PlayStation 4 and when the full grouping of players get to play on Xbox I think you're going to see that the prices of pretty much all of those players are going to go up so that's why I really really like getting the budget guys to start off and then as the, the season goes on you're going to start to see some of the prices on those more expensive players go down and then we'll maybe do an additional budget series beyond that maybe starting in like October or something like that when the prices is kind of you know even out just a little bit more so there you have it guys that is the full listing hopefully you guys enjoyed this one again if you did make sure that you drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and guys one more time if you have any suggestions as far as other positions that you want to see let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to prioritize those for you thanks again guys and i will talk to you guys again soon